Hey guys, it's Calvin from Raw Coding, and today we'll be writing a program that will output prime numbers from a list. We're going to write a program that will output prime numbers from a list. The program I've created will print all prime numbers from the value 2 to the value 50. I will now show you how to write this program. The first thing we'll do is we'll create a list which will store our prime numbers. We'll say primes equals list. Then we'll create a for loop that will loop through the range that we want to check. We can say for possible prime in range. And I want to find all prime numbers from the value 2 to the value 50. And as standard, I'm going to say the prime number is true. I'm going to create a Boolean variable called isPrime and set it to true. This will mean that the number that we're checking will be a prime number unless parameters are met. I'm going to create another for loop which will loop from the value 2 to the number on the previous loop. We'll say for num in range 2 and tool the previous loop value which is possible prime. So if this loop is on the 40th loop, it will range from the value 2 to 40. A prime number can only be divided by itself and 1. If we try and divide it by any other number, there won't be a whole number as a remainder. I'm sure you know what a prime number is, but uh, it's always good to just cover the basics. So if the remainder after dividing the inner loop number with the outer loop number is 0, then our number is not prime, else our number is prime. So let's create an if statement that will check that. We can say if possible prime, this is called modulus and we'll check what the remainder is after dividing two numbers, num is equal to 0, so if the remainder after dividing these two numbers is equal to 0, then our boolean is prime will be false. And then we'll end the inner for loop. So we can say this is called modulus and we'll check what the remainder is after dividing two numbers. Num is equal to zero. So if the remainder after dividing these two numbers is equal to zero, then our boolean is prime will be false. And then we'll end the inner for loop. And then on our outer for loop, we can say if is prime is still true, we can just write it like this. And then we add the value of possible prime to our primes list. So we can say primes dot append possible prime. And then outside of our loop, we'll print our primes list. Let's run our program. And as you can see, it's printed all prime numbers from the value 2 to the value 50. We can easily check another range by just going 50, 200. And now it will print all prime numbers from the value 50 to the value 200. I'll be creating more simple programs like this. I hope it was easy to understand. And if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. If you would like to learn more about Python, please do check out my YouTube channel and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.